This is one short video that I'll make here real quick. Uh, since the master cylinder's on the car, I can't really show you how it fit. But uh, originally, the dust boot for the plunger rod to the master cylinder was mounted on this, and this was uh, screwed in to the back of the master cylinder. I talked with Dr. Differential, and he said, well, I have never put that boot back on. And uh, most people that I've talked to uh, leave this boot off. Anyway, reproduction dust boots are available. They're almost $40 on eBay. Um, this was the original one. And uh, what I did is I, I scrubbed it down with Simple Green. And it's been soaking in this Ziploc bag uh, with 303 protectant and uh, it looks like it brought it back to like new condition and uh, it's very soft and I'll wipe it down with a terry cloth before I install it but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use that boot if you look here at the master cylinder plunger rod um, this is the uh, plunger retainer uh, piece well dr. diff uh, sends a replacement one so I'll probably cut this off and put the uh, one Dr. Diff sent me and this will be an inaugural event of the first zip tie that I know of that will go on the Roadrunner so all you Roadkill fans uh, will have to have a, a party for the very first zip tie that I know of will go on the Roadrunner so I'll, I'll cut this retainer off slide the boot on uh, loosely put the zip tie on until I get the other retainer. Uh, the instructions say put a little bit of that white lithium grease on here. I'll use a little bit of uh, silicone paste when I put the new retainer piece in and uh, the boot. And then once I get the rod installed and, and the pedal put back together, I'll zip tie this down to kind of hold this boot in place. And this is a quickie video, and hopefully Tim can edit it into the other ones. I'll be making a bunch of quick videos between now and the time I get the, the brake bleeding started. Thanks for watching.